a lot of times we need to convert between different types of units when we're talking about the concentration of something in air between, for example, micrograms per cubic meter and ppm. So here's the problem. If we're given a mass concentration in units of grams per cubic meter, find y, the volumetric concentration, which would be in cubic meters per cubic meters. Notice that the denominator here per cubic meters of air is the same. So what we really need to do is to convert the numerator from grams of pollutant to cubic meters of pollutant. It turns out, and that sounds like going, using a density, and it is, but we're going to add an intermediate step here that can make this more generalizable. We're going to go from grams to moles and then to cubic meters. Because for this first step to go from grams to moles, we divide by the molecular weight. And then for the second step to go from moles to cubic meter, we multiply by the volume per mole of gas. And that we can get from the ideal gas law, which you would have seen in a high school chemistry course. It is PV equals NRT. P is the pressure, and that might be in units of atmospheres or pascals. For reference, pressure at sea level, the total pressure is one atmosphere, easy to remember, or 101,325 pascals. V is the volume. which is in cubic meters. N is the number of moles. R is the ideal gas constant. And R is equal to, in SI units, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin, but also that's equivalent to Pascal's per cubic meter per mole Kelvin. So we'll write this, it's the same as joules per mole Kelvin, which you've probably seen more frequently. And it's also equal to 82.05 times 10 to the minus six cubic meters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. T is the absolute temperature. And so that will be in units of Kelvin. For that second step of the conversion, we needed to multiply by the volume per mole. So we need this quantity of the volume per mole of gas. And let's do this at standard conditions. which is a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, which is 298 Kelvin, and a pressure of one atmosphere. So a volume per mole of gas, if you go back and look at the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, volume per mole is V over N. And then if we rearrange the ideal gas law, we see that that is equal to RT over P. And so now if I substitute the values in for RT over P under these conditions, I have 82.05 times 10 to the minus six cubic meters atmospheres per mole Kelvin. My temperature is 298 Kelvin. And my pressure 
is one atmosphere. And that gives me 0 0.0245 cubic meters per mole, which is also equal to 24.5 liters per mole, which again, you may remember from chemistry, this is the volume of one mole of gas. And also if I wanna flip that over, N over V is equal to 40.9 moles per cubic meter. So one cubic meter would hold, hold almost 41 moles of gas. Notice that it doesn't matter what gas it is, all that matters are the temperature and the pressure. Going back to the conversion, we wanna go from constant, a mass concentration in grams per cubic meter to an intermediate of moles per cubic meter. And finally, to our volumetric concentration of cubic meters of the pollutant per cubic meters of air. And so in this second step, we're going to multiply by the volume per moles, V over N, which was, remember, RT over P. And so under standard conditions, in order to get Y, we take our concentration, we divide by the molecular weight, that's the first step, that gets us to moles per cubic meter, and then we multiply by this volume per mole, which is 0 0.0245 cubic meters per mole. Under any conditions, the equation is y is equal to the con mass concentration divided by the molecular weight times this more general volume, at volume per mole, which is RT over P.